Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today we're looking at a brand new custom for 2023. And this car is the Custom 68 Camaro. This is an absolutely outstanding new casting which features in the 2023 N case. I love this thing from the colour to the actual casting and the use of the plastics. This car is actually very light because it actually does feature a lot of plastic. But I really don't mind the amount of plastic on this car to be honest. I think it adds a lot more detail. I love how they've created the grille using that chrome interior plastic and all that type of stuff as well as the splitter. Created using the black base plastic but we will get into that in a second. I will mention that I actually got this car from a Asda store. It was kind of a new box on the top shelf and you're not supposed to get anything down from that shelf on your own. So I asked a staff member to get it down and thankfully they actually did. And lo and behold, this thing was in there. There was no blade, but luckily I did find that at a smith literally the day after. I've got a ton of stuff to get through. I mean, it's not a bad thing, to be honest. I'm really excited to get through all of it. And yeah, the only thing that kind of sucks about Asda is for some reason they charge £2.40 for long cards, whilst they only charge £1.90 for the short cards. Obviously, somebody at Asda must think that they are different cars. They must think that looking at it, these short cards are... I don't know, less valuable for some reason, or maybe for some reason the long card boxes cost them more to get in store. Who knows the reasoning behind that. But anyways, let me give you some facts about the real life car before we actually get into the showcase of the Hot Wheels model. So in real life, this car has a 6.5 litre naturally aspirated V8, producing 375 brake horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque. That converts to about 563 newton meters of torque. This car is also a rear wheel drive and has a 4 speed transmission. This car also has a 0 to 60 in approximately 6.8 seconds and a top speed of 120 miles per hour, where that converts to about 193 kilometers per hour. When this car was new, the prices varied from about $2,881 all the way up to about $3,500, depending on the spec, of course. Nowadays, that's about $25,000 all the way up until about $31,000. Now, examples of this car cost around $50,000 and that converts to about £39,500. But anyways, that's it really for the facts about this car. Now let's get into the showcase of the Hot Wheels model. Alright, so kicking off this showcase, we'll first of all take a look at the side of this car and I will first of all mention the wheel choice on this thing. This car is rolling on the 8 slot steely wheels, they do suit this car great, they have been painted in black with a nice grey lip. As for the actual colour of the rest of the car, it is all done in a matte dark blue. Before we get into the actual tamper work on this car, I will mention that the side skirt of this car is created using the black base plastic, and I will also mention that the exhaust of this car is created using the chrome interior plastic. Now moving on to the tampos, first of all we have this nice Hot Wheels logo which has been done in yellow. I will mention that there are some kind of slashed lines through it and that is actually how it's meant to be. It is not a defect so don't worry if you see that on your car, it should be there. Moving on to the rest of the tampo, we have these nice stripings. Once again they have those hashed lines through them, they almost look like scratches. And we also have this nice kind of skull looking thing which is surrounded by a yellow circle. Again, that has those scratch kind of looks through it, and again, that's supposed to be there. There is also some, what I believe to be Japanese or Chinese, or some kind of writing there, which I have managed to translate to it saying speed. There is also this interesting logo, which has been done in White Temple. Not 100% sure what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's not a real sponsor, as there's no actual sponsors on the rear of the card of this car. One quick thing to add whilst I'm actually editing this video is there are three what appear to be like bullet hole kind of dints in the car. They are not bullet holes, they're actually meant to be vents. You can just about see them on the card art of the car. So yes, those are vents. I almost forgot to tell you about them. They are in the metal casting itself. And the final piece of tampo on this car is this interesting little thing here. I don't know what it says, it's very difficult to see. But I believe it says something like this. Screening and then a word. HW. I'm not sure what that word after it is. I can't even see what it says on the card art. It is that small. Somebody can probably help me out here, but I'm not 100% sure anybody can, to be honest, because it is so small. But maybe there are a certain few of these actual cars which are actually have readable writing there. Finally, I will mention that the windows on this car are wound down, and this car does not feature any wing mirrors, unfortunately. However, the actual one on the card art does have the wing mirrors, but they are the very thin, small chrome 
wing mirrors. So it's probably best that Hot Wheels just left them. Because obviously, if you are kind of a fan of Hot Wheels, you'll know how they do their wing mirrors. They're just kind of a blob of metal, and that honestly would not look very accurate or very good on this car. It definitely wouldn't suit it. Alright, moving on to the front of this car. Alright, so taking a look at the front of the car. No tamper work on the actual front bumper of the car or any of that. But you can see the actual headlights, grille, and some of the front bumper is created using the chrome interior plastic. And the splitter of this car is created using the black base plastic. I'll also mention this car actually does have two indicator lights, or is supposed to have two indicator lights, in that actual chrome interior plastic which is used to create the front section of the car, or the majority of the front section of the car. But one of those indicator lights have actually been removed, and you can see those nice um, pipings uh, which are going through in that section. Obviously that's meant to be a hole for the piping, which actually leads to the intercooler of the car. Very cool to see that, it makes it look a lot more aggressive and modified. There is a little bit of tamper work on the hood of the car, so let's take a look at that. First of all, we have this nice little yellow triangular looking thing here that is actually meant to be there, so don't worry if it's on yours, it should be. And there is this nice yellow striping there which runs all the way from the front to the rear of the car, and once again that has those scratch kind of lines in it, it's supposed to have that, so don't worry. You can also see this nice bulge in the hood, and there are some nice details of what I can only assume to be the engine, uh, which can be seen through there. And that is created using that chrome interior plastic. Very nice use of that. Obviously that um, big bulge in the hood is actually in the metal casting, as you can see there. And it's painted in that dark matte blue. Finally, as you can probably already see, there are some nice hood vents uh, very close to that windshield as well. I'll also mention that this casting does not feature any windshield wipers and I'll also mention that on the front windshield it actually does have this what appears to be a sunstrip kind of thing going on there. Hopefully you can see that there. Anyways, moving on to the next side of this car. This side is the exact same as the previous side so I'm not going to bore you on it. But obviously you can pause the video and have a look for something specific if you are of course looking for something. If not, let's move on to the rear of the car. Again, there is actually no tamper work here, but you can actually see the rear lights have been carved out in the metal casting. You could add your own details using sharp acrylic paints. You can also see what appears to be a sort of wing kind of thing. I'm going to tilt the car so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. It's created using that chrome interior plastic. And there is a nice diffuser on this car which is created using that black plastic base. Finally, there is this kind of roof kind of spoiler, that's all I can really describe as, I think that's what it's meant to be anyway, which is created using the window plastic. Very nice to see that. And the final thing I do want to talk about is the top of the car. There is a little bit of tamper work here, so you can see there is some kind of, almost what appears to be like a caution striping, it's got that kind of look to it where there was hashed lines through it. And you can see that same writing which says speed when you translate it. If you don't believe me, you can obviously quickly put it through Google Translate and you can see it for yourself, but that is what it translates to. Alright, so that is it for this car. Now let's move on to my final thoughts and review on this thing. Alright, so now it's time for my final thoughts and review on this car. I think it's an absolutely awesome custom for 2023. I love this thing. Interestingly, I actually don't think this year has had a single bad casting. Last year, and I've already mentioned this in the previous video I uploaded a couple days ago, or I think it might have just been yesterday, I can't remember, but anyways, a few days ago, I uploaded the video about the Alpha, and I said the Lotus Sport Elise casting from last year was awful. I stand by that, I think it's an absolutely dreadful casting, but there has not been any similar, you know, bad castings this year. Every single one of them has been amazing in my opinion. I do think this is going to be one of the more overlooked castings, simply because it's put in a case with the Bugatti Belide. Bugatti are so popular at the moment, it is crazy. So this car is unfortunately going to get overlooked. I'm 100% calling that, except from American muscle fans. A lot of people might also turn their heads away from this car because it doesn't have any, you know, sponsors on the side which are of real brands. It's kind of a Hot Wheels own kind of fantasy almost looking uh, livery. I actually do love the look of that livery though on this thing. It makes it look so aggressive. It almost looks, you know, like something that would be in a demo derby almost. But it's too nice to be in a demo derby. It's a very interesting look and I absolutely love it. I think this casting is definitely going to rank very high by the end of the year in my year review video. I honestly do. I love this thing. The colour, the tamper work and the casting is superb. I am so excited to see what happens with this car next. 
I have a sneaky feeling it's going to come to premium. I really do. Maybe in the Boulevard series, if anywhere. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with this cast then. But whatever happens with it, it is a stunner and I highly recommend you pick this one up. But try and get this debut cast in one because this is just a beautiful looking one. I really don't think there will be a better one in the future. I really can't see it getting any better than this. Colour choice is perfect and that livery, as I've said, it's just perfect. I'm kind of saying the same things over and over but I do want to repeat that point. This car is absolutely just gorgeous to look at. Absolutely awesome. I'm so happy I picked this thing up. It's better than I expected. Another one where I actually was not expecting a whole lot from it and it delivered a lot more than I wanted. Wow, is this thing beautiful. Alright, so now it's time for my final score out of 10. When I move this car out of 10, it's going to be receiving an absolutely solid 10 out of 10. Yep, it's going to be receiving that score. I absolutely think this is a gorgeous one. Oh my goodness, is this a beaut. I can't get over how nice this thing is. But anyways, that is it for this video. So, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Remember, you can also press that notification bell so you're not missing any new uploads. Remember, you can also share this video with any friends, family, and any groups who may be interested in this video. Remember, don't feel pressured to if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested. You watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me, and I really do thank you for making it all the way up until this point. But anyways, that's it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.